Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will be celebrating their second Christmas in Los Angeles. Recent reports revealed that Queen Elizabeth invited the couple to celebrate the holidays in Sandringham, but they rejected the monarch's invitation. A source claimed to know all the details regarding Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Christmas plans starting off with their A-list guests, decors, and more. They're inviting all their A-list friends. Meghan made all the gold-plated invites herself, an unnamed source said. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are allegedly expecting Ellen DeGeneres, Leonardo DiCaprio, Orlando Bloom, Katy Perry, Abigail Spencer, and more to attend their celebration. Prince Harry and Markle also allegedly invited Mariah Carey to their festivities because the Suits alum wants the singer to perform. However, Carey has not allegedly acknowledged their invitation. Harry is still psyched. He even wants to wear a Santa suit if Meghan will let him. And he's setting up his own bar by the pool and coming up with cute cocktails like the Sussex Spritzer, the unnamed source concluded. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have no plans to jet back to the UK for the holidays, despite the fact that it will be Queen Elizabeth II's first Christmas without her husband, Prince Philip, who died in April. Not to mention that the 95-year-old matriarch has had concerning health problems of late. An invitation has been extended to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to join the rest of the royal family at Sandringham for Christmas, but they will not be attending. There's a lot that goes into the logistics and the planning of the family Christmas, so of course, staff know that Harry and Meghan are not coming. If they were, they would have communicated it to their family by now. But this is Her Majesty's first Christmas without her husband, so one would have hoped they would want to be with her. It's believed that Harry and Meghan don't want to cause the inevitable headlines that would come if they did fly over from their new home in Montecito, California. I think everyone understands there will be a frenzy when they both come back to the UK, but they need to rip the band-aid off and get on with it. The source added. Harry and Markle also are not expected to attend the Queen's annual Christmas lunch for her extended family, normally held at Buckingham Palace. This year, sources believe it will be held at Windsor Castle where the Queen is spending most of her time as she recuperates from a bad back. The Queen is usually joined at Sandringham, her country estate, by family including Prince Charles, Camilla Parker Bowles, Prince William and wife Kate Middleton, who accompany her to a church service. During her recent appearance on The Ellen Show, Markle told Ellen DeGeneres all about her Thanksgiving plans with Prince Harry, Archie, and Lilibet. This gave royal fans an idea of how the couple celebrates important occasions just like Christmas. I love to cook. We'll be home and just sort of relax and settle in. It's our second Thanksgiving at home in California. It'll be nice, it'll be really nice. We moved here during a lockdown, exactly when things shut down, so we've just been able to spend a lot of time at home and creating our home, but I think it's just the lifestyle and the weather is pretty great. But we're just happy, Markle said. Two years ago, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex celebrated Christmas in Canada. Having spent the last two Christmases at Sandringham, their royal highnesses will spend the holiday this year, as a new family, with the Duchess mother Doria Ragland. This decision is in line with the precedent set previously by other members of the royal family, and has the support of Her Majesty the Queen, a spokesperson for the couple said by L.